Hi everyone, welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, bloody another frustrating week last week. I can't have any luck at all at the moment at the races, but anyway, a um, couple of horses seem to be going okay. This horse here, uh, Conciello, he, um, we raced him first up the other day over 1400 down at Tarang and he went super in third. Um, he's, uh, he's been knocked around by the heat a little bit and, um, and we got a couple of nice cool days the other day and uh, we took him to the races and he went really well. And he's pulled up good from it, which is the main thing. I, I really like the horse and the, uh, it's been a bit frustrating not being able to get him to uh, racing at good level. So he'll go around again somewhere next week and um, I'm sure he'll go well again. Little filly we took to Sandown on Wednesday, uh, a filly called Yolande. Um, it's only her second start in a race and uh, to be uh, city placed your second start in a race is a great effort. She uh, she got back to last and then hammered home and ran third and uh, Craig Williams come back after the race and gave her a big wrap. So she'll probably get off to Mornington Cup Day and there's a nice 1500 metre two year old they say worth plenty of money and um, that's probably looks, she uh, just looks like a race sort of uh, would be absolutely ideal for her. A um, couple of horses trialled through the week. We trialled the big boy Sartorius, um, gave him a nice solid trial over 1,200 metres on the course proper at Geelong, and uh, he went super. He's all ready to go now. He'll probably go to the Blamey next Saturday, first up over a mile, and um, Ryan Maloney rode him in his trial and gave him a big wrap and was really happy with him, and um, he, uh, he's pulled up good from his trial. So he's all ready to go. He's had a couple of nice solid trials now, and, um, uh, you know, I don't know how strong the Blamey's going to be. I thought the Futurity was uh, OK without having any superstars, and the uh, short price favourite got beat so um, you know there might be a little bit of an opening there to um, it might not be all that strong this year um, being on uh, Australia Cup day as well. Yeah lovely staying three-year-old type called London Fog uh, he had his first trial back this time in and uh, I thought he trialled up beautifully Georgie Cartwright rode him and he sort of jumped out and uh, rode him quiet and was very very strong at the line it was uh, he looks like he's come back um, every bit as good as he was last time in and uh, I'd say he'll probably be at the race the next couple of weeks. Uh, beautiful staying three-year-old filly, Cal Barta. She uh, actually trialled against Sartorius, and um, obviously she's not up to that sort of grade over 1,200 metres, but um, she's set for the three-year-old filly classic races uh, in about six or eight weeks' time, and uh, she jumped out and uh, travelled up beautifully, and her sectionals actually were pretty good. They weren't as, obviously, uh, weren't as good as what Sartorius's is, but um, uh, I thought she, um, she went really well. Yeah, probably just going to have the one runner on Friday night at Cranbourne. Uh, a filly called GG Girl will step out. Uh, um, just been struggling the end of the races. We've been drawing bad barriers and that sort of stuff. But uh, uh, we're uh, we're going to take her straight to the races Friday night at um, 1,300 metres. Maybe still a tad bit short, but she's now going a month between runs from her first up. Great effort at uh, Seymour. So um, uh, no doubt she'll um, sit just off the speed and get home. Chad Schofield's going to ride her. So good jockey, good horse, good track. So, uh, you know, lots of ticks in the boxes. Hi folks, as Jamie said, I jumped off the spirit of Tasmania last week in despair, but I'm back this week with the tips. Now, Ranwick, race three, number 11, Mahiri, the Hawks and Tommy Berry. Good combination, good horse, should win. Then to Flemington, race six, number one, politeness. Remember it was scratched last week? Well, it's back this week, and I reckon it'll bring home the bacon. And then my very value bet is race seven, number five, Stratum Star, Weary and Rewilla. What a team. Good horse, good gait. And I tell you, I'd be really surprised if it doesn't get home by about a length and a half. So good luck, good punning, and we'll see you next week. That's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, been down to the Melbourne Premier Yearling Sale all week, and uh, geez, I thought they were probably just a little bit out of my range. They, uh, I think this is the seventh year in a row that the uh, sale price has gone up, and uh, they jumped from low 80,000s to uh, high 90,000. I think about 97,000 or something was the average at the sale. So I've always been able to go to the sales with probably 40 or 50,000 and buy a couple of nice horses. Um, where this year, poof, geez, I thought it was hard work. So um, well done to uh, to all, and uh, well done to the local studs here around Geelong. Uh, they had a great sale. Uh, Rosemont in particular had a ripping sale, and uh, well done to Mitho and all the boys there and all the staff. Um, uh, they sold a couple of horses, they bought a lot of money, and uh, they did, I thought their horses were presented very, very well. Um, there's actually a tried horse sale in the next couple of weeks that uh, I'm going to go to and I, I, there's about four or five horses there that are definitely worthwhile looking at. Sometimes yearlings aren't people's cup of tea and uh, they don't want to wait that time, they want to get horses and race them straight away. So if you're interested, give us a, send us an email, I am going to buy a couple of horses and syndicate them up and a couple of them are still maidens class one sort of horses but they look like they've got plenty of scope for improvement especially if they get over a little bit of a ground and uh, uh, probably trained a little bit differently out of, uh, out of Melbourne, they're currently trained in Melbourne so maybe trained out of 
farm they'll improve. So send us an email if you're interested. But um, uh, yeah, just going to have the uh, probably the one runner this week. We'll send a little filly around on Friday night at Cranbourne. Hopefully she goes well. Until next week, see you later. Always feel free to give us a call if anyone wants to come up to Emsley Lodge and have a look and see what we're all about. Um, by all means, uh, just do it and uh, contact us either through the website or on my... Uh, uh, Hi everyone, welcome to Emsley Lodge. For... What do you want? As I mentioned, he's probably had enough. Probably one thing we did find out about him... Shut up, you idiots. Controversially, Peter Sanders got back in last week. I had a few emails and a few comments why he was back in, but uh, we give him another crap. He was... Cr crap. Ha, ha, ha.